You know, I finished the book you recommended for me last time. It was really interesting. Do you have other recommendations? I really want to know more about Chinese history and culture. Well, thanks for reminding me. The,、uh, there is a great movie released recently. It's called The Sons of Phoenix. What is it about? Uh, I think it's a piece of、uh, music performed by the sona horn, and it's a traditional Chinese musical instrument, and extremely difficult to play. But、uh, if you can do it well,、uh, it sounds like a bird sing. So traditionally, weddings and funerals will include a sona horn performance, and it's considered a great tribute to respect and、uh, honor. So, what category of instrument does it belong to? It's not a common one in Chinese classical musicals that I know of. Well, that's the point.、Uh, the film begins with the history of sona horn, a kind of traditional Chinese folk folk art, and I believe that most younger people in China nowadays、uh, haven't watched it either. And so I, I also heard that there's a, if there's a wedding or a funeral in some small towns, like the traditional live music is now being replaced by、uh, recorded music. The one that people want to know more about it is the film designed to honor. And the traditional art. Well, I think so. There are so many kinds of music these days. Most of my Chinese classmates they tend to listen to pop music instead of traditional classic music. Hmm, it's interesting. You know, as time passes, some people、uh, choose to adjust themselves to changes or make contributions, and while、well, some other people might choose to、uh, observe the traditions. Uh, and preserve them in their lifetime. So the old man in this film、uh, is exactly doing what I've said. He's on insisting on the inheritance of the culture, and it's really inspiring to me. It is more than China or Chinese traditions. It is these changes come out all around the world, because you see these new technologies, new conveniences, new styles of life, and these always replace older ways. For example, I think nowadays we prefer to use computer typing rather than handwriting, and sometimes I just cannot recall how to write a specific Chinese character. So、uh, the only thing I can remember is the Chinese phonetic alphabet.、And、even though I mean I spend a lot of time in my childhood to practice how to write Chinese characters, if I don't use them for a long time, I just can't retain them. Well, you know, it's difficult to keep up with the latest trends and maintain the traditional lifestyle. You really need to keep an open mind in order to appreciate the old and the new. We don't want to lose touch with our cultural past, but it's difficult to figure out ways to make traditional、uh, st- stuff to adapt to the youngsters. Hmm, it's really fascinating. When getting along with nature, we we better return to authenticity. <coughs> Well, I'll watch the film you recommended. Well, great! It's a really touching story. I mean, I hope you like it.